పెరివా శరణ దస్పేక్త పరమాచార్య కామాక్షి వాట్ టు బి కాల్ యాజ్ బ్రహ్మం ఇట్ ఈస్ అ సుప్రీం బీయింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ యాక్షన్ అండ్ ద బ్రహ్మం ఈస్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సింగ్ అండ్ ఎంజాయింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ సెల్ఫ్ బీయింగ్ డైవెస్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ యాక్షన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కార్యాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ బ్రహ్మం who is divested of all karyas shape or color or guna that all the activities of this prapancha come about the one brahmam creates all the shapes colors gunas and the brahmam creates all these various and varieties of things with his maya shakti the same brahmam manifests itself into so many jeeva rasis and creatures in the prapancha we call this maya shakti which shows itself in different images shapes as ambai we are all born from this maya shakti and we are not different from the brahmam but we think ourselves as different from the brahmam this is also due to maya shakti the maya shakti of ambar plunges us into maya and if we pray to her incessantly she will clear this maya from us and will bless us with purna gnana we have no other way for us to attain gnana except ambar it is that ambar who conceals the brahmam from our vision and shows us the various things in the prapancha if we are able to get freedom from the cycle of births and deaths it will be possible only by the grace of ambar who made us toss in the clutches of maya the same ambar who is maya comes as gnanambika and blesses us with moksha what is the meaning of maya or illusion that which does not exist but seems to be is called maya how is that a non existent thing tosses us to such an extent that is a thing which exists always and it does not exist always we are in the grip of maya till we attain jnana or wisdom till then we see the many things and identify them to be different we cultivate love or hatred to them and act in different fashions to obviate the effects of these karmas or actions we take birth and die again and again but if we get gnana or wisdom by doing upasana of ambar we will realize that all that we see are the various manifestations of that supreme wisdom that is none other than ambar by our own experience we also see many appearances or images and we will come to know that though there are so many appearances there is only one thing or vastu the brahmam inside after knowing that one brahmam in the inside we will not have any love or hatred towards the many things that keep on changing and transforming and then perishing in the outside and we will merge ourselves with the brahmam who is at the base of all things and that brahmam is the supreme wisdom and our mind will merge with the supreme wisdom then maya will be non existing that maya which becomes non existent at this stage has been tossing us all the time the same ambar who is the brahma shakti and who has been the cause for maya bestows wisdom to us the reason for this is the mercy of ambar the goddess and she alone has the capability to release us from the maya our mind and the sense organs are the reason or cause for all the sufferings 
and difficulties we create for ourselves in the maya loka we have forgotten about the real gain for our soul or atma by engaging our mind in the parts of sensual pleasures all the five senses toss us ambal is the one who made all these and the same ambal has come in the image of kamakshi to free us from all these tossings and bestow on us the supreme wisdom god is kamakshi cleanses our mind and releases us from the tossing of the mind as we go after the pleasures of the senses god as kamakshi has four hands in one hand she holds a bow of sugar cane or ikshu chapa and the arrows are the five flowers or pushpa bana ordinarily the bow will be made of a tough iron but ambal holds the bow of a sweet sugar cane they are soft and pleasant flowers instead of the sharp arrows the bow denotes the tatva of the mind god is kamakshi holds the bow of sugar cane to get our minds to her feet because she is soft hearted her flower arrows bring under control all our five senses the senses become actionless by these arrows of flowers lalita sahasranama says mano rupekshu kodanda pancha tanmatra sayaka to control our mind and check our actions parashakti has come as goddess kamakshi with sugar cane bow and flower arrows in the other two hands goddess holds the pasha or rope and ankusha that is spear the rope or pasha of the ambal binds us to her clearing all our desires and attachments she holds the ankusha to prick and control us when we get anger to save us from the revolutions of the prapancha and its tribulations goddess kamakshi holds the pasha and ankusha in the lalita sahasranama goddess lalita parmeshwari is described as raga swarupa pashadya krodha kara kushojwala from this we have to know that pasha is denoted as raga that is desire and ankusha is enmity or dvesha or krodha and the pasha and ankusha in the hands of goddess kamakshi destroy our desire and anger thus god as kamakshi has taken avatar for saving us from our maya it is for this purpose that god as kamakshi wields the bow of sugar cane ikshu chapa and flower arrows that is pushpa bana pasha and ankusha in her hands she has taken the kamakshi avatar with the red color of the rising sun like a pomegranate flower and with the red color of grace and supreme mercy she has come from the colorless brahmam god as parashakti has taken the avatar of kameshwari as kamakshi god as kamakshi is the divine mother who has taken avatar in this world with the bow of sugar cane and flower arrows and pasham and ankusham in order to shower all grace and mercy on all the creatures in this prapancha she holds the bow of sugar cane and flower arrows to save the human beings from the tossing of the sense organs and the chanchalas of the mind there are many jeevans like us who have done many karmas in their previous births and accumulated their sins they all must take another birth to obviate their sins which come out of their karmas they may or may not reduce their sins either they may reduce the sins or increase their sins whatever it may be these jeevans must take birth again in a new janma and spend the same in the path of dharma 
that is the only way to reduce our sins acquired in our previous births when all our karmas and sins are cleared we can attain the state of brahmatva when we will have no birth or death the jeevans take birth in the world to clear their sins god is parashakti has made the god of love to give them kama or desires and manmata is the lord for the kama vikaras but goddess will not let manmata have his sway over the gnanis the same parashakti utilized manmata to make lord shiva fall in love with her when the lord burned down manmata with his third eye or netrikan ambal took the sugarcane bow and flower arrows of manmata and surrendered to the lord at that time lord parameshwara became kameshwara god has brought her love in her eye and became kameshwari and looked at the lord the lord fell in love with the goddess the vastu which remained as brahmam devoid of all actions assumed to action for the sake of loka anugraha the brahmam which was white as crystal became red at that time red is the color of mercy periva sharanam